Hey everyone, Cody here. And the reason I'm making this video, so yes, there is two live videos in the same day. Crazy nonsense. Uh, the reason I'm making this video today is because I feel like the Pollock style painting I made earlier was kind of a cop out. Like it, I feel like the, anybody that was watching it to see the Pollock style painting kind of got cheated out of that. Uh, so I wanted to kind of redeem myself and start over and make another Pollock style painting. So we're going to use the same colors. I still have them out. And this time we're actually going to do it, you know, kind of right, I guess. So uh, we're going to do the same colors for the Pollock style painting. However, we're going to actually do, uh, we're actually going to throw the paint on the canvas and stuff like that. So I feel, again, like I cheated you guys um, with this other one that's over here that's kind of a mess. Actually, I'll just show you guys. That's, uh, that's kind of the mess one. So uh, we're going to try to do it right, and we're going to make a decent one. So let's go ahead and uh, get the canvas painted here. We're going to get the, the background painted. So I'm going to set the stick aside, and we're going to throw our paint on here, and we're going to get this background colored in. And I thinned down the paint, so it should be a little easier to kind of get it on the canvas here, and it'll actually help it dry. It's, it's already warm outside, so whew. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm already, already getting a little sweaty. I don't know, probably too much information, but it's definitely warm. So let's get this paint out, spread it on here. Got this uh, canvas taped down here with some masking tape just to keep it in place. Well, adding the water definitely helps with the dispersing the paint. Add a little more. Yeah, the paint's already, uh, it's already trying to dry. So that just kind of tells you how hot it is out here. Let's see if we can pull this paint out as far as we can. You know what's kind of funny is it's like they have that saying you know watching paint dry and it's like a boring thing but sometimes i'll sit here and watch the paint dry on purpose because i think it's kind of cool to see like the the change in the uh, the shine when it dries i don't know maybe i'm weird probably probably just make sure we got all those areas pull that paint over here try to stretch it out as much as we can really cover this surface here and of course like a bug or something lands on here I can't win painting outside all right and we're almost good just a little bit more here. Okay, perfect. All right, so that's gonna dry. Give us a nice uh, background. I really do like this color. So while that's kind of drying, oh, sorry guys, just kind of kicked you. All right, so while this is drying, I'm going to give these paints a good stir um, so you guys can kind of watch this painting for me. Oh, looks like I missed a little spot right there. All right, cool. So go ahead and watch that painting for me. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And I will go ahead and stir these paints. And we're gonna go ahead and start like we did on the last painting with the silver and the yellow. I think I'll start with silver. It'll kind of give us like a background. And then we'll go, we're gonna go from light to dark to dark to light, if that makes sense. So we're gonna start with silver, then we're gonna do yellow, then we're gonna do black, then we're gonna do white. That way it's kind of stacked, right? It's, it's layered. Um, so, painting is pretty dry. We're going to go ahead and add our first layer. We're just kind of, you know, the, it, it, it's all about, you know, it's, it's funny because there's that saying, it's like, oh, it's all on the wrist. 
but it really is. So if you snap it straight down, you kind of get these big uh, like pockets right there, right? If you just kind of throw it out, you get these really big wavy lines. If you kind of snap it, you get like a puddle with the drops. So it, <clears throat> it just kind of depends on what you're going for. I kind of like to snap it downwards um, so that it kind of pulls it towards me and kind of gives it like a really dynamic uh, look. So you know, a little bit more over here, a little bit more over there, a little bit more over there, and just to kind of just kind of snap it right there. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty good. Maybe I can get a little bit more kind of thinner lines. So if you just kind of trace it and not actually snap it, you get these really, you get those like airy, really thin, really curved lines. So if you're looking for like a lot of lines, I, I did a painting um, called Born of the Earth and I didn't snap it or anything. I didn't do these big bubbles. I literally just kind of like, just did this over and over and over. Just did these really long, intricate, thin lines. And I just did that over and over and over again. And uh, I actually sold that painting. So, you know, it, it does look pretty cool. All right, so we're not going to go crazy. We're not going to do too much. Uh, we're actually going to kind of let that dry a minute so that it can kind of harden so that when we apply the next layer of paint, it doesn't mix into it. So I'm actually going to watch it for a second. Looks like we got a few people. If you have any questions, you can ask them now while we're waiting for this to dry, and I will try to answer them. So I think on my phone I can see questions if you have them. If not, that's totally cool too. All right, so again, just kind of waiting, letting the paint dry, and then we will uh, move on to our next layer. So we're going to move on to the yellow next. So the yellow is going to give that uh, silver some contrast, and it's also going to contrast against the turquoise. I also want to put it on now because it'll kind of build like a foundation layer for the black and the white that we add on top of that. So that uh, yellow will kind of it gives it, it helps the black and white pop. And you know, I add black and white pretty much to any Pollock cell paint because it, it balances it out. So that's, we're doing the same thing with the silver and the yellow. So we have our silver down now to kind of give it a, a background. And then we're gonna layer on top of that silver because uh, the silver is just there to help the white not, and, and it not be so kind of whitewashed and just, um, you know, bland. Okay, so now we've got that. We're gonna move on to our yellow. It, uh, I think it's dried a little bit. It's probably not fully dry, so we're, we're gonna kinda slow down. We're not gonna throw the paint on super fast so that these layers kinda have time to dry. And same thing, we're just gonna kinda snap it. I like to, that's kinda my favorite way to do it, just to kinda snap it down um, so that you get the drops and you kinda get the line, you kinda get everything, right? So you get the drops, you get the big splashes, and then you get the thin lines. Um, so that's why I like to do it that way. <clears throat> and we're going to try to put the paint, uh, and you can kind of angle it wherever you, wherever you snap the end of the, the stick is where the paint's going to go. And so we're going to try to fill in some of these areas that don't have a lot of paint with the yellow so that it, uh, you know, spreads the painting out so it's not just concentrated in one area. We'll just kind of lightly tap, and that'll give us some some dots, some spray. Actually, these colors look really good. Kind of kind of really happy with that. And I, as I was saying in uh, my last attempt, uh, that the colors I actually didn't kind of pick out. I didn't choose them. I saw somebody else do a Pollock style painting that they sent me a picture of. And, uh, and I thought the colors were awesome. So I kind of shamelessly stole that. Um, <laughs> but no, I was just inspired by that color scheme of the, the turquoise and the yellow. I think it, it really goes well together. Just kind of looking at it, it, this is a pretty nice looking painting so far. All right, so got a lot going on already. I'm gonna kind of fill in some of the gaps here. I don't need to go crazy because we still have a couple colors to go. Um, but I'm gonna add a little bit of some just dynamic lines here. 
just to kind of give it some character. And what I like to do is where there's kind of gaps around the edge, I'll just kind of take my stick or whatever I'm using and just kind of shake it to get some, some big drops in there. And that'll actually give it a little character and especially around the edges, um, you know, because if you, you can keep kind of doing lines off the edge, but I like the lines to kind of stay on the painting if possible, just cause uh, it, it draws the eyes that way. So, cool. All right, so we've got two layers down. It is actually looking pretty good. So I'm, got, I'm glad that <laughs> we're doing another uh, painting because I think that this one actually is looking better than the first one. So we will go ahead and move on to black now and we're gonna end with white. <clears throat> so same thing, we're just gonna kind of slowly just approach it and kind of snap it. So it looks like the black, I, I don't remember thinning the black out, but you can see that we're getting a lot more drops with the black. So uh, the black paint is always thinner than like the white paint. Um, I don't know how it comes that way. Somebody had explained it to me, but I don't honestly remember uh, what the reasoning was. I think it just has to do with the dyes or like the base that they use. Um, so because of that, this, this black is already kind of thin and that's why it's not making those big puddles. Uh, it's just making these like thin lines and kind of the drops, but it's okay because we can kind of use that to our advantage. You just kind of dip it in there. And if you just dip just the, the corner of it in there and just kind of shake it, you can kind of get the drops. So we'll use that to get some splatter going. And then we're just gonna kinda throw the black on there. And try to, there we go. All right, so now just kinda Add some thin lines to it. Okay, so I don't want to add any more. It's getting a little, it's getting a little heavy with uh, the dark. Uh, the black is kind of really making it very intense. Um, I find that adding too much black just kind of pulls the mood away, so it's not as um, it's not as easy to look at. So, all right, cool. So now we'll add our white and that should be it for the painting. We may go over it with the silver or the yellow just to kind of tie them in, um, but we'll see. <clears throat> all right, so we got some uh, splotches there. So just kind of do some towards the end. Put some dots on there. And we'll just kind of Okay. So again, don't want to add too much uh, white to it because again, I'm not trying to overpower it with one specific color. Um, actually, I'm going to leave it alone. Yeah, if I add anything else, I think it's going to be overpowered. Um, maybe we'll just add a couple of thin lines of the yellow and the silver just to kind of tie it in. So we're just going to kind of just lightly throw it on there. We'll just kind of take some of the paint off and we'll just do some really thin like trace lines. And this is just so that uh, when you're looking at the painting, you can see that the layers are uh, overlapping. So we're not, we're not really going for more color on the painting. We're just going for effect here. All right. And finally, we'll finish with the silver. And 
And that's it, dude. We are done, baby. I don't want to mess with it anymore. <laughs> it's, uh, it actually looks pretty cool. Uh, so this one, really happy with the way it turned out. We've got an actual Pollock style painting done, so I don't feel so bad now because I felt, again, like I cheated you guys by not doing it properly. So here is the final painting. So I'll show it to you guys and sorry. This is the final piece. And just kind of look at some of these lines here. Overall, uh, I would say this is a success, honestly. Actually, I'm really happy with this. Uh, this would be sellable. So, I think, uh, I think it was a good thing that we kind of came back and, and did the painting. But anyways, guys, that's it. If you just got here, I apologize. Go, you know, feel free to watch, you know, the whole stream to kind of see what happened. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. I really appreciate you tuning in, watching me, you know, all the time. I really appreciate that. Channel's growing pretty quickly. So, again, very grateful for that. Um, but I just wanted to do this pox style painting for the 2,500 subscribers. We'll do it again at the next 500, so at 3,000. And, uh, yeah, just keep watching the channel for more painting-based uh, videos, and I will get those out as soon as I can. So, again, appreciate you all. Thank you. God bless, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye, guys.